Hi Strawberries! In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a simple GFX for beginners. Before we start, be sure to subscribe for more GFX related videos. First, open up Roblox Studio and select Faceplate. Once it's loaded in, go over to your toolbox on the left hand side and change the models option to plugins. Search up load character and install the one that is free. Once it's installed, go over to the Plugins tab and open the Load Character plugin. Type in your username and make sure Spawn at Origin is selected. Then select Spawn R6. Once your character is loaded in, go over to your explorer to export your character to your computer. Open up your workspace and select the username. Right click and go down until you see export selection. Then save your character wherever you'd like on your device. Next we're going to add a background model. Go back over to your toolbox and change plugins back to models. Then type in a model such as aesthetic room. To export it, do the exact same thing you did with your character. Select the model, right click and click export selection and save it to your device. Now we're going to move on to Blender. The links to download Blender 2.79 will be in the description along with the rig. Now we're in Blender. This weird box should pop up, and to get rid of it, just click anywhere outside. Now we are going to import the rig. Go over to File, and click Open. If you've already downloaded the rig, it should be in your downloads, and select Woman Rig, then open up Rig, and then select Default.Blend. If you haven't already downloaded the rig, the, a link will be in the description. This is what your rig should look like. To move around in Blender, just click Shift and F, and then use the WASD keys to move around. Next, delete the head. To do that, click B on your keyboard and drag and select the whole head to delete. Then click Shift and X, and then click Delete. Next, we are going to be importing the texture. To do that, just right click one of the body parts and then go up here until you see a plus sign. Drag it down, then go over to the cube option, click on that, and then select node editor. Once you've done that, a bunch of small boxes should pop up. Just scroll in until you find image texture. Once you've found that, click on the file icon to import your texture. Then go over to wherever you saved your character and find the username of the character you used. Now the texture of your character has been imported. You can just push this up now and all we have left to do for the character is import the head. To import the head, go to File, 
and then go down to import and select Wavefront OBJ. Once you've done that, go to where you saved your character and import your OBJ file. As you can see, now you just have a bunch of extra body parts along with the head. So to fix this, just delete all the extra body, body parts by clicking Shift and X and deleting them. Now we have to fix the head as it is facing the wrong way. To do this, hold shift and click all parts of the head to select multiple parts. Then go over to the left, select tools, and click join. Now the head is just one object. Then go over to the right and in rotate, change the Z rotation to 180. Now the head is facing the right way. But you might have noticed the arrows to move the head are not directly on the head. We're going to fix this by going over to Set Origin and changing it to Origin to Geometry. We're going to import the background next. Like we did with the head, go to File, then Import, and select Wavefront OBJ. Find your OBJ file of the model. Once it's loaded in, we're going to set the origin to origin to geometry just like we did with the head. So now when you click on any part of the model, the arrow will be directly on the object. Next is the fun part, positioning your character. You can pose it however you'd like. To bend one of the limbs, select one of the lines surrounding it and use the move and rotate options to pose. You can also pose the head too. Once you're done posing, add a camera. Then view camera. Then just move around to position the camera wherever you'd like. Right now the camera is a little too big since I'm really just trying to capture my character. To change the size, go over to the camera icon and go down until you see resolution. Then change the size. Let's see how it would look like in rendered view. The GFX is too dark and we're going to fix that. As we get more advanced, I'm going to do a lighting tutorial, but for now we're just going to click one simple button. Go over to the world icon and select ambient occlusion. Once you have a rough idea of what your GFX will look like, you can go back into texture view. We're almost getting ready to render, but we still need to add denoising, which basically makes the GFX smooth. Now we can render. This is an extra tip, but just in case you want to stop rendering because you notice something and you want to go back and fix something in your GFX, all you have to do is click escape to stop the rendering and then click escape once more.
and then you can begin rendering again. Rendering can take anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes depending on the size of your GFX and the speed of your computer. When it's done, we're going to save it. Go down to image and click save as image. Before you do anything, go over to the left hand side and change it to PNG. Then select RGBA. Once you've done that, you can name your GFX whatever you want and save it wherever you want. Thank you so much for watching and if this helped you, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below.